Hi guys, this is Kundan from kundanstech.com. Today I'm going to show you how can you use an awesome Firefox add-on called Firebug to develop your web page. Design it. It's very useful in order to design a website. You can just check the elements of another website and you can design it according to them. For instance, I have a website it's kundanstech.com and you can see in my website that this image which is used here it has a drop shadow so how it is applied here you can know that one and you can use it in your own web this web page to create a drop shadow for the images which you have it there so at first let me inspect the uh, elements properties of this image for that one you need to click on the firebug icon here and click on the selector then just click on this image okay on the right hand side in a style you can see that the image the you can see the box shadow how it is how it is made there is two pixel two pixel dimensions 1.5 1.5 top bottom left right and this two pixel is for the right two pixels is for the bottom and this 1.5 1.5 is for left and the top and uh, if you can see the color which is used is gray so you can just check this attribute of this image and you can similarly use it for your own image for example i have here another website which i have created for testing purpose and let me at first update this file and refresh it okay Let's refresh this one. So, okay. So now, it, as you can see, this I have an image, same the WordPress icon, but in this case, this image is not doesn't contain uh, a box shadow. So how can I use the same attribute for this image? At first, I need to check uh, the this element where it is in the style sheet. I'm using WordPress. And this is 20, I guess 2010 thing. I'll just click this one. Let me see which thing I am using right now. I'm using 2012 thing, sorry. So let me go back again. I'll just check out where this image is in. What's the name of this image? Just click on this firebug icon. I click on this selector and just I click on this image. This image belongs to entry header image and post image. So this is post image which is inside entry header image so uh, let me go to the this image in a style sheet I'll just click this one go on dashboard I'll go on appearance editor if you want to edit any of the files of a theme you have to go to the editor and in this case I need to edit this CSS file I'll just scroll down it was entry okay and three okay.
this is the one entry header image wp dash post dash image this is the image which you can see here yeah. uh, entry header image wp dash post image so this is the one so I already found the class or that image so now what I need to do is I need to apply the attribute for the box shadow and what was the attribute which we used here was box shadow 2px right 2px bottom 1.5px on the left 1.5px on the top and the color was gray so just I need to go here and add the same attribute box shadow 2px 2px 1.5px 1.5px then 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is the color code for the gray color I need to update my CSS style sheet and I need to refresh this page if you can't see any effect you can just press ctrl and f5 to refresh it again oh I applied it to a different element I apply to the entry title it's not for the entry title it's for the image okay I can update my file I'll go here and again refresh by pressing control F5 yeah that's it you can see the image is now the image has now this box shadow effect similarly if you want to apply image this box shadow for this image you can do it so let's first find out what is this image this is image align click here image align lift so what you need to do now go to this edit appearance editor click on this style sheet you need to find out that element that class image dot align lift image dot click here you can find out mm, what is this image dot align lift so I'll go in this style sheet I'll just press control F image dot just type the element name image dot align lift yeah here it is so I'll again apply the attribute of the box shadow box shadow then I'll 2px 2px 1.5px 5px then color was gray 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 we can use 3 8 also instead of uh, 6 8 update the file okay just refresh by pressing control and fs f5 sorry yes now this image also has got box shadow similarly if you want to okay so you want to see that this text box which you can see here source form input box the background color it's like a gray on this very light gray the color code this one if you want to same and uh, if you see the border is 1px black color this is color code for black color solid so if you want to see same effect for this one just you need to click here on this firebug icon click on this selector click on this box to see where it is actually click there so widget area this is widget area okay let's go to this thing 
and find out whether this widget area widget widget area what was this item okay this is widget area hash space so let me copy this one and let me find out here it is test this one okay it's this one so let me apply the same attribute which is here background color let me copy this color code copy you can just go here and background color Okay, the border, the border was 1 px, show lead, and the color was 8, so black color. Let me update this file. Let me refresh this by pressing Ctrl F5. Let me see what is the effect. Yeah, see the background color is changed and the border is black color border if you want to find out how much is the width of this one again you can go here and just type it which is 200 pixel if you want to change the width also to the same same value then just we can go there and width 200 pixel update this file And again, I'll refresh this by pressing Control and F5. Yes, the width is also changed here now. So in this way, you can apply CSS attribute of one one page to another page by using this firewall. You can apply it to all the elements which are present in a web page as long as it matches with the element. Thanks for watching.